So if you've ever sat down to journal and had the thought, well, what am I supposed to write about? Then this is the perfect style of journaling for you. What's up everyone, Jeremy Lipkowitz here. And in this video, I'm going to be describing one of my favorite journaling practices. It's a technique that I found super useful for myself. It helps me stay consistent with my own journaling routine. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through step by step how to do this journaling practice so that you can journal like a pro and never miss a day. So stay tuned. So here's the problem. Journaling consistently is difficult. If you've ever tried to start a new journaling habit, you realize probably that it's not as simple as just buying a new journal and waking up every morning to write in it. For many of us, journaling is overwhelming, it's something we might put off, we might procrastinate on it, we might start overthinking what we're writing, we get lost in kind of our head or stuck in our head. It can just be hard to turn it into a habit. And something that is difficult means that you're not going to be as consistent with it, which means you're not going to be able to reap all the benefits that journaling has to offer. But I've found a solution, and this is something that works for me, and so I want to pass it on to you in the hopes that it will help you develop a strong and consistent journaling habit that you can implement into your morning routine or your nightly routine so you can start gaining some of those benefits of journaling. Before we go any further, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and also click like or that bell notification button. That helps the YouTube algorithm spread this video further so more people can get the benefits of this video. All right, so let's dive in. Now, whatever the reason is that you click this video, I can tell you that there are a ton of good reasons to start a journaling habit. From things like more optimism in your life and more gratitude, to letting go of stress and anxiety, to getting more clarity on what's really important in your life. And if you're a part of my Unhooked Digital Addiction Recovery course, you also know that journaling plays a massive role in breaking free from bad habits and cultivating healthier habits. In many ways, journaling helps us stay focused on what's important and also helps us realize or recognize when we've fallen off the track. So what is this style of journaling? It's a style called free flow journaling. And the main idea of this style of journaling is that you're not overthinking what you're writing. In fact, you're trying to not think at all, but instead you're just letting your thoughts flow onto the page. A good way of thinking about this is like you're opening up a, a tap on the faucet and you're just letting that water flow out. In the same way, you're opening up this tap in your mind and just letting your thoughts flow onto the page. So when you do this style of journaling, you're not trying to write the most beautiful journal entry. You're not trying to write a masterpiece or come up with anything insightful. You're not trying to write something that someone is gonna someday read and say, oh, this person must be such a genius and a poet. Instead, it's just that act of letting your thoughts flow out onto the page. So how do we do free flow journaling? Well, first is to know that you can do this style of journaling with a prompt or without a prompt. A prompt is sort of like a question to get you started. If you don't have any good journaling prompts, you can go over to my website, jeremylipkowitz.com slash journaling prompts, and you can find a nice list of journaling prompts, particularly suited for those of you who are looking to break some bad habits and cultivate some healthier habits, especially around digital addictions, things like social media addiction and porn addiction. Uh, but those journaling prompts that I have on my website are really beneficial for anyone interested in self-discovery, self-awareness, and just living a better life. If you're new to journaling, I'd recommend doing this practice with some prompts. But again, you can do this completely without a prompt and I'll walk you through how to do that as well. All right, so how do we do this free flow journaling style? The main thing is to understand that you're either going to set yourself a time limit or a page limit. So for a time limit, you might say something like, I'm going to journal for the next three minutes and you'll set a timer. With a page limit, you'll say something like, I'm gonna journal for at least two full pages in my journal or maybe one full page depending on the size of your journal and how long you wanna go for. Then what you're going to do is pick a prompt 
And then when you start writing to answer that prompt, you want to keep the pen moving and don't stop until you reach the end of your goal. So if you choose that page limit, which is the one I prefer, something like I'm going to write two pages in my journal, I'll start writing and then see if you can just keep the pen moving while you answer the prompt. If you run out of things to write, you can just start writing, I'm not sure what else to write, I'm not sure what else to write, until you come up with something else to write about. Again, the idea is to not get stuck in your head, but just let thoughts flow onto the page. If you're doing that time limit, the exact same thing. You'll set a timer on your phone and just start writing and keep the pen moving until the bell rings on your phone. An important thing to understand about this style of journaling, the free flow style, is to not judge what you're writing. The whole point about going fast and keeping the pen moving means that sometimes it's going to look messy, it's not going to sound good, it's not going to look good. And if you judge what you're writing, you're going to start getting stuck in overthinking, overanalyzing. So giving yourself full permission to write like crap, to not write something that is insightful or beautiful or poetic, but just to keep the pen moving, opening up that faucet, tapping into those deeper layers and see if you can surprise yourself with what comes out. If you wanna do this style of journaling without a prompt, again, it's the same thing. You're just writing whatever comes into your mind. It doesn't need to be in response to any prompt, but just letting whatever is in your mind flow out onto the page. Now, why do I love this style so much? Is that it's so simple and easy. There is no way to do it wrong. All that you have to do is get to the end of the page or the end of your timer, and it counts as a good journaling session. Many of the benefits that you'll experience through journaling will come as long as you go through this process. So that's it. That's the free flow style of journaling. This is literally the easiest style of journaling because there is no way to do it wrong. As long as you pick up your pen and start writing something, even scribbles or your grocery list or whatever it is, you're still doing it well. So I find that for myself, this style of kind of low pressure, not needing it to be a good journal, not needing it to be insightful, but just making sure I get to the end of the page, that works for me in being consistent. So I hope this helps. I hope this gives you a little bit more motivation to be more consistent with your journaling routine. Again, if you're interested in breaking bad habits, things like porn addiction, social media addiction, any sort of bad habit you might be dealing with, journaling plays such a massive role. And so I hope that you will integrate this into your morning routine. And I hope that you find it useful. And now I'd love to hear what you think of this. So if you have any thoughts or comments, please drop them in the comments below. I would love to hear what you think. Until next time, take care. I'll see you on the next video.